New Zealanders being hungry for change. Kia ora and welcome to Not the Six O'Clock News. It's Friday the 19th of September, one day before the election and 121 years since New Zealand women won the right to vote. I'm Lila Harry, leader of the Internet Party and Internet Mana candidate. Today I voted in Parnell with my family and Internet Party people to change the government. Lila, who are you voting for? I'm voting Internet Mana with my party vote and I'm disobeying John Key uh, by voting for Paul Goldsmith to change the government. What, isn't that sort of, aren't you doing a little bit what, sort of what he's kind of saying, you know, don't vote for Calvin Davis, are you sort of being that kind of, you know, playing into their hands a little bit? I am voting strategically to change the government here in Epsom today. Strategically minded voters in Te Tai Tokarau who want to change the government will vote for Hone Harawera. There has been a sharp focus in the last week of the campaign on the integrity of the Prime Minister and the conduct of the National Party in government. In this morning's New Zealand Herald, more evidence surfaced of what can only be described as systemic, executive-sponsored corruption. A senior lawyer from the Customs Department blew the whistle on the way in which the public service is being used for political purposes. The Ombudsman has revealed that this is not an isolated case and that she intends to use her inquiry powers to investigate. Unless a Royal Commission on Dirty Politics is set up immediately after the election, I will put these issues into the international forums that are available to protect New Zealand's democracy. This is a very serious election for New Zealand. This morning we had new evidence of what can only be described as systemic corruption within our public sector, led by our ministers and our government. I have said today that I will take this issue to international forums, to the Commonwealth and under the UN Convention Against Corruption. New Zealand has some very serious issues to address. John Key has no moral authority to lead a government after tomorrow. I believe that if that is the outcome, it will be a government wracked with scandal, extremely unstable, it won't last until the end of next year. As New Zealanders head to the polls, I'm asking progressive voters to party vote internet mana. If you want me back in Parliament, you can't rely on other people to do that for you. A party vote is a vote for the party list. An internet mana party vote would see myself, Annette Sykes and John Minto join Hone in Parliament. We'll also bring Chris Young and Miriam Pirard with us with just 4.5% of the vote. I ask you to weigh that up against a few extra backbenchers for the other progressive parties. This has been a tough campaign with internet money drawing full fire from the right. Ask yourself why John Key and the interests he protects are so scared of us and then party vote internet money. Ka kite anō. Good night and stay informed, Aotearoa.